Hello, welcome back to my channel. Uh, so I have a tag today for Tag Tuesday. I am very proud of myself that I have managed to put out a tag on the appropriate day and not on um, all the days that I tend to do tags, which is every day except Tuesday. Um, so today I have a older, an older tag. That is the Book Addict tag. Uh, I saw this first on uh, Steve Donahue's channel. Um, it's uh, from a couple of years ago and the original tag was created by Elaine Howlin. I will link to her video down below as well as Steve's video, which is where I first saw this tag. Uh, it's a super fun one. It's very short. It is only uh, 12 prompts. So uh, let's just get started right away. Uh, prompt number one is, what is the longest amount of time you can go without picking up a book? Uh, and for me, I have gone very rarely I've gone an entire day without reading uh, just when I've been really busy with work or with other things and just haven't had time um, but never more than than a single day I would say I try to read at least once a day and oftentimes it's it's far more than that but at minimum I try to read at least one uh, for, for one chunk of time each day uh, prompt number two is how many books do you carry on your person or kindle at any one time um so if we're saying uh, how many books do I carry on my Kindle at any time? I think my Kindle has maybe around 600 books, 500, 600 books, something like that. Um, as far as a physical book, the physical book, I'll only carry one around with me at a time and it will just be whatever book I'm currently reading. I don't carry multiple physical copies around with me just because it gets a little bit, um, it gets a little bit complicated if I have, you know, three books or something I'm trying to lug around with me everywhere. Um, so typically when I'm out and about, I will be reading an ebook. And actually when I'm out in public, I do a lot of my e-reading on my phone, actually, which as a Kindle lover, I kind of hate that I do that, but it's a lot more convenient for me sometimes to just have one device just to have my phone. Um, and so I have the Libby app on my phone as well as the Kindle app. And so when I'm out and about, sometimes I will just read that way. Um, and so in that case, I have about 500 books with me. Uh, prompt number three is, do you keep every book you buy slash receive, or are you happy to pass them along? Um, so I don't keep every book that I receive. Um, occasionally I have received, uh, you know, I will receive a duplicate copy of a book that I already own, uh, in which case I will pass that along. However, if I buy a book, it will most likely stay with me for a very long time just because the books I buy, I buy them because I, I want them and I see a value in them for me uh, as of right now and in the future as well. Um, and so those tend to always stay with me. Question number four is how long would you spend in a bookshop on a standard visit? Um, so a standard book, uh, a bookshop visit for me is maybe anywhere between an hour and an hour and 45 minutes. I don't typically go over two hours uh, just because I know my bookstore that I go to pretty well and I know where things are. I know typically going in, I know what I'm looking for. I go to a particular section. I, I'm looking for a particular title or a particular author. Um, and so it's, a, it's, it's typically around an hour, an hour, 45 minutes. Um, however, if I'm going somewhere with the sole intention of simply browsing and taking in new titles and taking in new authors, I could spend an entire afternoon in a book short, in a bookstore easily. Um, I, I often spend that much time in my library, just sort of walking up and down the aisles, looking at everything, taking everything in. Um, so easily I could take an entire afternoon. Uh, prompt number five is how much time per day do you actually spend reading? Um, and this varies. I, I spend, I would say between two and four hours a day reading. Um, and it, it just depends on the day. Um, this week I'm heading into a little bit of a calmer week where I have a lot more time at my disposal. And so most likely I'll be reading somewhere around four or five hours a day, maybe a little, a little under that. Um, however, not, not in one sitting, typically it's sort of spaced out throughout the day. So in the morning I might read for an hour or two hours. Uh, and then in the afternoon I might read for for an hour or so, and then at night um, I might read for an hour or a little bit more. Um, so it really just depends on sort of sort of how my day looks. I don't typically sit down and read for for an entire five hour chunk altogether. Uh, um, I have done that before, but typically it's broken up. Prompt number six is where does the task of picking up a book appear on your daily to do list? I try to read first thing in the morning. I try to get about an hour of 
an hour's worth of reading done in the morning right when I wake up just so that if the day turns out to be unexpected, if something changes with my schedule, I can at least know that I had an hour of reading that morning before things got crazy. Um, and so I try to I try to keep it at the top of my to-do list every day. Uh, prompt number seven is how many books do you reckon you own in total, including eBooks? Um, I think including eBooks, that would be somewhere around a thousand books. I have about 500 physical books between uh, the shelves that are behind me here. And then I have one other uh, bookshelf at the front of the room, sort of behind the camera here. Um, and then on my Kindle, I have, I think, five or 600. So I would say ballpark around a thousand. Uh, prompt number eight is approximately how often do you bring up books in conversation? Um, and actually, it's very rare that I bring up books in conversation. The only time I really do is if I'm talking to my family because they know I read, they know what I'm reading, um, I can talk to them about it, as well as a couple of close friends who know that I read, um, I'll bring up books in conversation. But if I'm talking to someone new or someone I don't know that well, sort of just, you know, having a quick chat with someone, I really never bring up books just because I, I've found that I read a lot more than a lot of the people that I end up talking with. And so there's really just no point in, in bringing it up. Um, and so really, I don't do it very often. Uh, what is the uh, prompt number nine is what is the biggest book page count that you have finished? Um, and so for this one, I was I was trying to think because there are I have, I have a couple contenders that are sort of all around the same page count. Uh, I would say that recently the longest novel that I that I have read would be um, Les Mis by Victor Hugo. Um, as far as um, biggest nonfiction, most of the nonfiction books that I read are all about the same about the same length, um, typically between maybe 600 and 800 pages. And so I think the answer for this one would have to be um, Les Mis as the longest book. And Crime and Punishment would probably be in the a number two slot, but Les Mis is just slightly longer, at least my edition. A uh, prompt number 10 is, is there a book you had to get your hands on against all odds? Um, and for me, I think, that this is, I think that this is a no for right now. Typically, I've... I, um, I've, I've never really come across a particular title where, or a particular book where I sort of, um, you know, had to do everything possible to try to locate a copy because I needed it right now. Um, I, I'm okay to wait on, on things. I don't have to have every, I don't have to, um, I don't have to sort of search everywhere to try to find a book if I find it somewhere. Um, and it's, you know, it's, it's going to take a, two weeks to get to me or something. I typically just do that. And I have, cause I have so much other material that I want to read. So I'm never sort of waiting on just a single book to arrive. A uh, prompt number 11 is a book you struggled to finish, but refused to DNF. Uh, and I think I talked about this in one of my previous videos, and that is, um, Eleanor, uh, Eleanor Catton's novel, The Luminaries. Um, I got about 300 pages in to that book and it just still was not working for me, but I did not want to give up on it. I wanted to finish the whole thing. I kept hoping that I would change my opinion of it. I kept hoping that something would happen in the book that would redeem it for me. And, and that if I just stuck with it a little bit longer, I would end up really enjoying it. Um, and I sort of pushed through the rest of the novel. That's a pretty long novel as well. I think it's maybe 800 pages. Um, so I sort of pushed through, um, optimistically, um, you know, hoping that it might change my mind, hoping something might happen that changed my mind. It never happened, but I just, for some reason, I could not bring myself to DNF it. I had just put so much time into it already and I just thought I would just write it out and, and just get to the end and I can say that I have read it. Um, and so that's, that's what I did. I just, I was not able to DNF that for some reason. Um, and so I just sort of pushed through um, and, and got to the end. My, my opinion did not change by the time I got to the end, but I felt good knowing that at least I had, I had tried. I had tried to um, have it be redeemed for me. Um, prompt number 11, uh, 12, this is the final prompt, and that is, um, what are three of your main goals, or your main book goals uh, for the year? Um, so I, I'm going to group together multiple books sort of to be one goal. I had a video that I did of 
uh, Penguin Classics that I want to read by the end of the year, as well as nonfiction that I want to read by the end of the year. So those are two of my goals. I know, th I know those are multiple books, but I'm, I'm going to call those more uh, reading project goals uh, for the end of the year. I want to get those two done. Um, and then my, uh, let's see, one more. What's my third reading goal for this year? Um, I don't really think I have, I don't, I don't really think I have, have a third. Um, I don't structure my reading year so much around goals, um, as I, as I do more, um, structured around subjects that I want to read about or particular authors that I want to read. And uh, I sort of fluctuate around between those different topics or subjects and authors. Um, and it's not so much um, a checklist goal for me as it is a, a, an idea of, of um, a subject I want to explore more or an author I want to read more of. Um, and that, that lets me be a little bit more flexible in, in, my, in my reading. And as I come across new material, I can dive into it um, without feeling like I'm not achieving a, a, a particular goal. Um, so that is, um, and that, that's a strange answer. I didn't read any of these ahead of time, um, but that's, I think that, that would be my answer for uh, prompt number 12. Uh, so that is the final prompt. Um, and for this vid video, I'm not going to tag anyone in particular. I am just going to do sort of an open tag and say that if you're watching this video and you want to make this tag, please, uh, please feel free to do so. It's a really fun tag. It's really interesting. Um, I love these tags that sort of shine lights, uh, sh shine a light into your, um, you, you know, your reading habits and sort of the behind the scenes of your reading. I think it's always really fun to watch. Um, so if you would like to do this, please do consider yourself tagged. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you would like to leave a comment down below, please feel free to do so. And I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.